Another date Koreans will mark on their calendar is March 21st. That's when disgraced former leader Park Geun-hye will be summoned for questioning over her involvement in the massive corruption case that ended her scandal-ridden political career. Prosecutors have also initiated an investigation into two of the nation's biggest conglomerates as part of their probe. Hwang ho jun gets us up to speed with the developments. A new investigation has begun into the massive corruption scandal that led to President Park Geun-hye's impeachment, this time led by a special team under the state prosecutor's office. The team notified former President Park and her legal team that she is being summoned to the whole Central District Prosecutor's Office for questioning on Tuesday, March 21st at 9.30 a.m. She will be questioned on 13 charges, including abuse of power and bribery, leveled against her during the initial probe by the prosecution and a separate investigation by an independent counsel. She is accused of letting her confidant, Choi Soon Sil, a civilian with no official government position, meddle in state affairs, and colluding with Choi to extort money from conglomerates. Park has denied all 13 charges. Park's legal team has said she will fully cooperate with the investigation. If she appears for the summons, Park will become the fourth former president to be questioned by prosecutors, following Chun Doo Hwan, No Tae Woo, and No Mu Hyun. But experts are saying even if she shows up, it will be a complicated situation for the prosecution as well. Even Lee Jae-yong, the vice chairman of Samsung Electronics, has been arrested and is on trial for paying bribes. That's a considerably more minor crime than accepting a bribe. Considering that if a warrant is an issue for Park's arrest, just because she's a former president, people will think that's not fair. On the other hand, some people also may think arresting a former president who has been just sacked is cruel political retaliation. Meanwhile, on a separate track of the probe, the prosecutors have also commenced their investigation of Lotte and SK Group. They suspect the two conglomerates and the former president of improper dealings by, quote, donating money to foundations controlled by Tre. Investigating companies other than Samsung was initially part of plans by the independent counsel, but they were never able to due to a lack of time. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.